Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and what would be coming in possibly 25H2 is something that maybe some people won't like. You know, we, like, we talk about recall. Recall that is trying to analyze everything you do to screenshots and snapshots and uh, make it easier for you to find things in documents and pictures. And there are some great ideas behind recall. I know it scares a lot of people also. Um, but there's something, you know, coming to every PC that it's kind of a simpler version of recall. If you want, uh, there's something called copilot vision. I just talked to uh, copilot and said, turn it on. It says, Hey, it's already there if you upload, but this is going to be more intense right now. It relies on you in uploading a picture and telling you what's in it and so on or analyzing the picture and telling you you know this is a cool setup of this or that and i've shown in a few examples and this is going to be even more present in 25h2 possibly as copilot vision would turn on and ask you if you it wants you or if you want it to analyze not just pictures but if you're watching videos online, if you're reading a web page, maybe you're reading a document, creating um, you know, a spreadsheet, working in Photoshop, whatever, it would be able to glance at what you do, look at what you're doing or watching or whatever, and interact to help you in a certain way. So this is starting to show up even on standard PCs right now you can already upload pictures and you can already upload uh, small video sequences stuff like that that will just let you know what it looks at and what it's all about give you summaries you can actually upload a picture and say hey just create a you know a small paragraph explaining what the picture is all about um, well this is going to be even more um, snooping if you want for some but analyzing for others uh, of course the uh, interesting differences is that in copilot with regular pcs it probably will be using a lot of the ai of the web for analyzing this where recall does it all pretty much with the npus on board the machines but um one of the things we also know is that this feature, even if they let us try it, will eventually be a paid feature. If you want to have it, if you want to use it, you'll have to pay a premium, a monthly subscription. And, and it seems like a lot of AI stuff coming soon are going to be premium uh, to have them working, basically. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.